Hey guys, what's going on, dudes? It's David and Tevin back with another video, and this is what I was going. This is what I was talk. I was going to do no. what I said earlier. I was going to be reacting to the NASCAR race, and to be honest, I'm kind of pissed off at the race. Hold on. Oh, there's my Mockingjay book. I was just like, wait, where's my Mockingjay book? Because I see Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and then Mockingjay. I'm kind of pissed. So yeah, guys, I did say I was pissed about the finish because the driver that won um it kind of what he what we were saying in the interview kind of reminded me of a driver being a dirty driver and to be honest i do like the guy that won which spoiler alert the winner was kevin harvick and if someone didn't watch it spoiler alert that's what you're supposed to say dang spoiler dang. alert it was kevin harvick kyle bush finished second and eric Amarola finished third now, Kyle. Yeah. David. What? You're the worst person. I'm not the worst person. So I'm probably looking forward to watching it. Does anybody really look forward to watching NASCAR? I don't, but other people might. I know. So yes, Kevin Harvick finished first. Kyle Busch finished second. Eric Amarillo finished third. Now, Kyle Busch was leading with six laps to go, but unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Kevin Harvick uh, just basically, uh, <laughs> he didn't, he didn't exactly spin him out to win, but he basically took him out of the chance to victory, and that just pisses me off because Kevin Har I never really thought Kevin Harvick would be that type of driver, because Kevin Harvick seems like a driver that would just, if you can't beat the guy, then you can't beat the guy, and the thing is, I know Kyle Busch and him both have five wins, <laughs> I know him and Kyle Busch both have five wins, but... You you guys are going to be eventually battling for the championship in Homestead, so what's the point of doing all this? And to drive into the corner and not even turn, he didn't even turn for the corner. He was just like basically, alright, I'm going to see if I can get to his, I'm going to see if I can get to his left rear bumper and basically just take him out of a chance to win the race. And if I can do that, then I can go on to win this race and I can have six wins and I can have more points than him. Now, Kevin Harvick and Kyle Busch are definitely going to be battling it out more and more this season when it comes before the chase starts in Indianapolis. Um, but, to be honest, okay, I don't everyone, like... I'm just saying this. I have no idea what David's saying. I don't like the way Kyle Busch was raced. I know Kyle Busch doesn't race like... He doesn't race clean. But I don't like he, the way he was raced. And especially the comments that Kevin Harvick made about Kyle Busch after the race. He basically saying... That was the same thing that that happened at Chicago, where Chicago, actually, Kyle Busch got hit by Kyle Larson, and then Kyle Busch got the chance to come back at Kyle Larson. This situation, Kevin Harvick hit Kyle Busch, and Kyle Busch was never able to come back and because... And Xbox later. Yes, guys, I don't like the way Kyle Busch was raised. And the thing is, if Kyle Busch had the chance to have gotten back at Kevin Harvick, I'm pretty sure Kyle Busch would have probably tried to pass him clean. Yes, Kyle Busch, he drives, if you don't piss him off, then he won't piss you off. That's basically the simple as. The only driver to ever piss Kyle Busch off and then have him pissed off even more is Brad Keselowski. Because Brad Keselowski just seems to piss off everyone in NASCAR. Dude, this Brad Keselowski is pissed off Matt Kenseth. He's pissed off Denny Hamlin. He's pissed off Kyle Busch. He's pissed off Kevin Harvick. He's pissed off Kurt Busch. He's pissed off Jeff Gordon. That's a lot of drivers that he's pissed off. And the only one that actually got to fight him was my driver. My driver kicked his butt. But, plain and simple, guys. I don't like the way Kevin Harvick raced Kyle Busch. I feel like he, he could have passed him a lot cleaner. But he did say in the interview that he didn't know if he was going to get by him. And that he took his chance. Now, I don't understand saying that. Because if you have a chance to win the race... And you can't pass him. Then don't do anything to him. Because there's a chance that you could take him out of a chance to make the chase. Say Kyle Busch didn't have a win. And he was racing for his first win. Say Kyle Busch didn't have a chance to win. Didn't have his first win. Didn't have a win yet. And he was trying to get his first win. Kyle Busch would be pissed out of his mind. And so would I. Because that's dirty driving from Kevin Harvick. Now, to me, I still respect Kevin Harvick, but I've lost a bit of respect for him, and I still think Kyle Busch is the best driver in NASCAR right now. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys later. Hey, wait, Peace. wait, 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 wait.